Hey there, Oasis Youth. This is Youth Pastor Sam here for a very interesting and special covational today. Right, uh, it, right now, uh, it is the month of December, which means we are looking forward to Christmas. I hope you're excited for Christmas. I'm excited for Christmas. We all need a little bit more Christmas in our lives, especially in 2020. But uh, to start off this covational, I want to ask you, what do you think of this person that we refer to around the season as Santa Claus? Santa Claus, right? Uh, Santa Claus is typically uh, uh, understood as, as an old jolly man uh, with a beard and uh, wearing red clothes. So he basically looks like me, except older and with white hair, right? A big chubby jolly man. I'm not very jolly all the time, but uh, just a big jolly man who goes around from house to house, dropping off presents to the good children and coal to the bad children. And this is what he does. This is Santa Claus. You guys have Probably most of you have, have been told about Santa Claus for a lot of your life, right? But I want to ask you, what do you think about the Santa Claus person? Because typically, there's two two ways that you can, two categories that you can fit in in this regard. Some people, on the one hand, believe that Santa Claus is a real person, that he must be real because I get presents underneath the tree that say Santa Claus, and therefore, Santa must be real. And then on the other hand, other hand, uh, the other side, you have, you know what, Saint Nick, this uh, jolly Saint Nick, that's not a real person. It's not a real person at all. Uh, it, it's my parents who have been writing their name on the card, naming it Santa Claus and putting it there. And I don't believe in Saint Nick. What if I were to tell you that both of those statements were both wrong? Right. Uh, well, let me let me let me explain. So, on the one hand, Santa Claus, right? Santa Claus. We know that Santa Claus isn't real. Sorry to burst some bubbles, uh, uh, but Santa Claus is not a not a real person as far as fantasy is concerned. Right. Santa Claus is uh, is an idea that was paired together with some other stories and tales that we just put together and said Santa Claus is all knowing, all seeing person who drops off presents and it's really your parents or your grandparents but the second perspective I don't believe in Saint Nick well that's also wrong because there was actually a person named Saint Nick in fact uh, if you google Saint Nicholas uh, he is uh, known as Saint Nicholas of Myra and Saint Nicholas was was one of the early Christians in the first few centuries of Christianity. And in fact, Saint, there's a lot to be known about Saint Nicholas. A couple couple notable things is that one, he was actually imprisoned for his faith. He believed Jesus in a time when Jesus when Christianity was persecuted, and he was thrown into jail. And then, in the middle of his time in jail, uh. A new emperor came into power, Constantine, and released him from jail. Right? He lived in the in the turning point of Roman history. As Rome became an unchristian society to a Christianized culture. And there's a couple things that are very interesting about this person, Saint Nick, and one of them is very interesting. It's actually one of my favorite stories, and you might be able to relate to this. Actually, if I was there, I might do the same thing he did, and I'll explain why. So, here's what happens. So, when Christianity came to Rome, Rome became a Christian culture, and what, what needed to happen is uh, they needed, Christianity needed to create some, some creed, some statements, this is what we believe, because there were other groups of believers who did not believe the same thing. <clears throat> In particular, there was one group of people led by a guy named Arius, who believed in what we call a heresy called Arianism. Arianism. And so, this guy named Arius would actually teach people, hey, uh, yeah, you can believe in a lot of good things. Um, Jesus was a good guy, he was a good teacher, but he wasn't God. See, this guy named Arius was, was sharing a false gospel. He was sharing a false message and they were calling themselves Christians. Now, as you can imagine, some of you guys know, and I, uh, I can explain a little bit more in a little bit, 
We believe that Jesus is God. We believe that Jesus is equal with God the Father and God the Holy Spirit. And this wouldn't fly with Saint Nick and the other believers uh, in the region. So what they did is they joined together. They got together for a council of Nicaea. It was in a, it was in a town called Nicaea. I don't know if it was a nice town or not, but it was just called Nicaea. And they decided, we're going to write down these statements of what we believe, particularly centering on the fact that we believe that Jesus is God. Right? They, they had different uh, scriptures that they used, right? Like John chapter 1, verse 1, where it says Jesus is God. Right? Other statements in John where it talks about Jesus being God. And as they were writing these documents in the Council of Nicaea, Arius walks in. Arius walks in, he, he's there because he believes he's a leader in this Christian movement that he's not really a part of. And before he can sit down at the table, jolly old Saint Nick gets up, goes over to Arius, and decks him right in the face. It is one of the most historic moments in early Christianity that jolly old Saint Nick punched a heretic. Right? Why, why is it such a big deal? And what does it have to do with co the covational? What does this have to do with Christmas? What does this have to do with anything? Well, I want to I wanna point out why it's such a big deal. Right? Around Christmas time, what we celebrate is we celebrate the birth of Jesus. We, we celebrate the coming of Jesus Christ into this world. And he was miraculously conceived by the Holy Spirit and was given to Mary, a virgin, who birthed Jesus into this world. And Jesus was, in, in all ways, God among us, that he was God with us. In fact, one of the names that they called Jesus, you can find this in Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. One of the names that they refer to Jesus as is Emmanuel, which means God with us. One of the issues that, that Arianism brought to Christianity is that if, if Jesus is not God, then God is not among us. Then God is not with us. And if God is not with us, then we are without hope. You see, the, one of the greatest parts about Jesus' divinity, Jesus walking among us, Jesus being born in this world, is that God cared enough about you to, to give His only Son to walk among our lives, to feel what we feel, to hurt how we hurt, and to actually die for our salvation and for our sake. And without that reality, Remember that we are without hope. If God did not step into our lives, then we could, then He could not uh, be able to draw us back and get get us back to Himself. See, God can relate with what you're feeling right now. If you are feeling discouraged, if you're feeling hurt right now, if you're feeling lonely and isolated, Jesus was among you. He was a person too. He felt those feelings. He had those wounds. God knows what you're going through because He was among you in Jesus Christ. And so next time you hear somebody say, hey, I don't believe that Jesus is God, I mean, don't, don't punch him in the face. But understand why Nicholas did it. Did it. Right? Because if God is not among us, if God did not walk among us as Jesus Christ, and we don't have someone who can comfort us, who can know what we're going through, who we can turn to for hope and for salvation. So may that be an encouragement to you. May that be a fun story that you share. May that be a trivia fact that you hold on to for the rest of your life. Hey, did you know that, that Santa Claus punched a heretic? Let me tell you why. Right? Hope you guys have a great, great uh, holiday season uh, as we approach Christmas time. And I cannot wait to celebrate with you and in, in all the ways that we do so. So uh, you guys all take care and have a Merry Christmas.